your fairy guard mother here today to teach you another skill from my fairy guard website? Just click on the link below. Planes. No, not airplanes. Planes. Geometric planes. Uh, guard actually helps you a lot with your math skills overall. And you will be asked to spin in different geometric planes as a guard person. So you need to understand what that is and how to stay in it or how to imagine yourself staying in these planes. Let's start with the toaster plane. You're going to hear almost every guard instructor say, hey, stay in your toaster. All right, so here we have your basic kitchen toaster. So what would a guard person look like in the toaster? Let's introduce ourselves to the guard person. The guard person is the bread that goes in the toaster. So he's breaking the toaster plane. See, the bread wasn't meant to go in that way. Okay, another way to look at it is, here's a dude with his flag, and he walks up to a wall. He imagines a wall behind him, but it's an invisible wall. Yet he should be able to spin in between these two walls successfully without touching the walls. And that is what, hey, stay in your toaster means. This is a vertical plane. It is the most common plane to spin and toss your flag in. It's the basics. It's the beginning, what you will learn. The parallel plane. Uh, a lot of people call it the horizontal plane. It's a little more challenging. It feels dangerous because it's done usually above your head, occasionally down toward your feet. The flag is rotating parallel to the ceiling and the floor. So when you're tossing or spinning, your flag is also parallel to the ceiling and the floor. Imagine your flag is one of the rotary blades on a helicopter. Next, we'll move on to the 45 degree plane or 45 plane. This is an angled plane. It is the most challenging plane, I think, for most guard members to learn and master. It rotates at a 45 degree angle while you're either spinning or tossing or doing your choreography. Often your body needs to lean to the side to avoid contact with the flag in this plane. A uh, 45 degree angle might go any direction. Notice it can go down, it can go up. It's, it's a very challenging plane. So that's all I have for you today in your geometric guard planes. And remember, stay in your toaster. For more skills from your fairy guard mother, please visit my website. The link is posted below. To learn a new skill from your fairy guard mother, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment below. Or, as always, email me at yourfairyguardmother at gmail.com.